Hello again my dear hobbits. Today I'm using my old N95 Nokia for recording this one because I left the small one video camera to office. Anyways, um, many of you know that I have been working lately with the I2C ESCs and, and this is the latest one, uh, latest one ESC that we have been modifying now in here. Uh, probably you cannot see so much from the video itself but anyways there's a lot of information on internet and, and I will be posting some pictures later on. Uh, there's some cables coming out from the microchip. Uh, they're going to resistors and, and we have been cutting some, some of the uh, coppers on the PCP itself. And we also have the new one I2C data bus. Uh, also we have the old one PWM cable still connected but it's going to change. Uh, we're going to install install a small PCP in here and uh, connect all the I2C data bus cables to that one PCP and, and, and from there we can get the new new data bus cable which is going to be the same one cable. All right, and also we have the I2C tester that I was just creating. We have a display, some buttons, some potential meter. We have Arduino in here also. Uh, we have another one slave device in here, not in use currently. We have a watt meter and also we have a battery. So let's go and power up the tester first of all. Okay, here we go. And now we can go and power up the ESC. Also, when I'm powering up the ESC, listen carefully the sound that it makes after the long one tone. Here goes. Mm. That last one beep was actually the number of the ESC. Uh, on my, my software firmware release, every ESC will make a different sound for a different number, just like if you have a number 2, then it's going to make beep beep and so on. Alright, let's 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 start the tester. First we go to engine number 1. We have the num engine number in here, also we have the base address of the I2C data bus. We have the Hertz, the update frequency for the ESC, Currently it's not here because the update speed is uh, and, and the running is, is switched off. We are not running the engine. And also we have the value that we are going to send over to I2C data bus. And we can change the value with the potential meter in here. Okay. Let's start it. And now it's it's running. We are now updating the data bus and sending uh, I2C datagrams to ESC and well the whole whole data bus with one hertz frequency. Currently we are sending zero so naturally the engine is not going to run. But let's let's give some some different values for that one. Like that. Maybe you noticed also that it was taking some time until the engine was starting. It's because of the updating speed, updating frequency. Just like if I'm changing it, it always takes a little while until uh, until we can hear any change on the en engine. Now we have quite nice, we are jumping between 15 and 16. So we should actually have, yeah, you can hear the engine, it's, it's changing its speed now and then. Depends on which one number we have. We have on a, on a ah better. All right. Now we can also update and and uh, change a little bit of the updating frequency. Let's go higher. Two hundred hertz. You can clearly hear that the engine is actually <coughs> changing the speed all the time. And, and if you're looking at this number, it's also changing, and same time the engine is changing its, its speed. 250 hertz, 300 hertz, and also 500 hertz. When we are on 500, it's, it's really, really sensitive. 
like it should be. Let's put it again. Oh, cannot find a suitable position now. Oh, now it's again. And we can go back to one hertz. And we can shut down the engine. We can start it shut down. There. That's it. This time for the I2C ESC and also the, for the tester. I'm going to create the ele full electronics for the tester, so, so stay tuned about that. See ya. Bye bye.